And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. A good evening, everybody. It sure is really sunny out there here in West Texas. Very, very blue skies. I-20 actually moving along now that that construction right around the station has finally begun to let up. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank Weather Cam, we've got a good look at those really, really sunny conditions. And that sunshine, by the way, has really helped us to warm up significantly. Odessa Midland picking up again 15 degrees over this time yesterday, up 20 for Fort Stockton. The teens across most of the northern basin, so much, much warmer than we saw yesterday. But if you can notice, just north of this graph, Notice we've got a little blue pool beginning to develop. That's our next cold front that should be coming on through overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. But it'll be a little while before we get there. In the meantime, temperatures really, really pleasant. 59 degrees currently for Odessa Midland. It's pleasant considering it's December. A lot of us in the 60s, Wink, Pecos, Fort Stockton, all in the low 60s to kind of end the day. Now, keep in mind, our high temperature today, 60 degrees, a little bit above average and way warmer than what we saw yesterday. 44 degrees was our high temperature. Normal for this time of year, 57, that's staying planted for today. We're still seeing average highs at 57 degrees. It's just today, our high temperatures picked all the way up to 60 degrees. Now, I should say this, don't expect that to last. We're not looking at any more warm days coming for the rest of the week. In fact, we're going to be dipping very, very well below average by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Now, we've got some real clear skies overhead, kind of showing that off right now. So very clear conditions, a lot of sunshine helping us to warm up to that high temperature above average. But we've also got a lot of cloud cover coming in from the north and west. And remember that cold front coming in from the north and east. Now, in addition to that, we've got some really strong winds. We definitely saw some very strong winds earlier today for most of the day. Now, we've still got a high wind watch in effect. This one, not technically in effect right now, but it is going into effect tomorrow morning, lasting all the way through Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time or uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Time. I had to think, I had to calculate that one really quick. So 8 a.m. Mountain Time is when that expires for the Guadalupe Pass. We're seeing some higher winds at some of the higher elevations. But here in the basin, we're no exception. We're going to see some pretty strong winds tomorrow morning as well. Now, if you've got plans tonight, keep wind chill in mind. Anytime we see temperatures dipping down into the 40s, backing off that low, we're going to see that wind chill cause a factor when we get up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So by 9 p.m., we're still in that 5 mile per hour range. Not a very big deal. But as we get to midnight, depends on how late you want to stay out. If we get to midnight, we see those wind speeds about 10, 15 miles per hour. Temperatures taking a dip down into the 40s, possibly even the 30s. That's going to give us that wind chill factor. Of course, wind chill going to be more of a factor by the time we get to tomorrow morning with those winds picking up near 20 miles per hour by 6 a.m. In addition to that, that's about the same time we'll see that cold front passing through West Texas. Here's a look at that right now. By midnight, notice some of the northeastern portion of the basin seeing some elevated winds and that wind direction changing up on us coming in out of the north and east. Now, places like Fort Stockton, Pecos have yet to see that cold front. Notice those much calmer winds and that wind direction coming out of the south and east. As that front pushes through West Texas, we're going to see some much colder temperatures in the morning time and some much breezier conditions as well. 16 miles per hour for Odessa Midland by 6 a.m. and 19 in Wink by the same time. Now that front is going to push all the way through by the end of the day by around 2 p.m. Just about everybody here in West Texas seeing some elevated wind speeds picking up to about 15, 20 miles per hour and it is going to be very, very cold. High temperatures barely picking up into the 30s. 38 degrees will be our high by, that, by tomorrow afternoon but notice also tomorrow morning dropping down to about 24 degrees, it's going to be a really, really cold night. So make sure if you've got plans tonight, if you're spending the New Year's Eve outdoors, you keep this cold front in mind. It's not coming with any rain, so it shouldn't put a damper on any conditions as far as driving goes. Your Uber driver, I hope you use one, should be safe. But other than that, make sure you stay warm and make sure you stay well. Now, as we go on through the rest of the week, Tuesday morning, we're still looking at that cold front coming through. Again, no rain coming with that. But as we get to Wednesday morning, look, a little bit of snow, some light snow chances develop at some of the higher elevations. And that will be moving through here in the basin by around 8 a.m. We can expect most of that to move out. Notice no little blotches happening right over Odessa Midland. So our chances for rain, snow, wintry mix, very, very low. 38 degrees will be our high temperature tomorrow, which is, by the way, very low itself after a low of 24 degrees. So a very cold morning. Make sure you bundle up tonight. Stay warm and stay safe with those New Year's Eve plans. And Wednesday morning, only a 30% chance for rain. But high temperatures about that high, too. 35 will be the high on Wednesday. Wow, we're dipping low tomorrow dipping low. and Wednesday. That's but right. tonight, wind chill is what we should be looking That's for. That's true. Yes, make sure you stay warm. Make sure your people, your plants, your pets are all safe, warm, and accounted mm -hmm. for. Stay safe on those roads. Mm -hmm.